Hi everyone, so today I wanted to do a um, kind of review slash first impression of my new coffin incense burner and I had been wanting one of these for the longest time and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it in my other one of my other videos um, that I had been wanting to get you know a safer incense burner one that you know wasn't so open like my leaf that I normally do my incense reviews on <clears throat> so I just been wanting one and I finally got it this week and I just opened it up I haven't used it though at all I've been wanting to really just try it out with you guys and see how it works and um I don't know I, I bought this one on Amazon and I had seen <clears throat> they have different they have different ones but I had seen so many negative reviews over these boxes and it didn't matter which box you get they have um <clears throat> majority of the ones Amazon has are is this box or the same um just the same structure they do have other ones but um i notice any of them that are enclosed or wooden are the exact same box just sold by different sellers so <clears throat> a lot of them had negative reviews people say that theirs came broken that the incense weren't fitting um that it wasn't as pictured um on the site so i was really iffy and i had really held back on whole on purchasing one of mine because i felt well you know if other people are giving it such negative reviews because really the negative reviews outweigh any positive reviews that these certain burners have so i just ended up buying it i did pay 8.99 for it and i think it was a fairly decent price and now that i see my box i really like it and i feel like it's totally worth it but these boxes are handmade, so I guess it's kind of a hit and miss what um, box you get because, you know, I'm sure they're not all made by the same person. They're all made by different people. So um, I think that's why there's so many mixed reviews on there because, you know, it's not all machine made or any of like that. They're all handmade. Um, they're imported. And, you know, you just kind of, I guess if you're lucky, you get a good one. And if you're not then you get, um, you know, one of the ones that aren't completely perfect, but I believe they're still kind of, you can still use them unless they arrive broken or something. But nonetheless, um, I noticed some pe a lot of people mentioned that when they actually got theirs, they were really broken. <clears throat> they were broken, the hinges were broken, or the top was completely off, or they were used. Uh, one person mentioned that the one they received was used because there was ashes all over it. <clears throat> the way I got mine, mine was perfectly wrapped. It was wrapped in the packaging paper, and then um, it was sealed really tightly in this plastic. And I opened it because I just wanted to see how it was. But it's, uh, it's called the Celestial Coffin Incense Burner in Green by Bernie's. And I'll go ahead and link um, the Amazon page that I got mine from. That way you guys can go check them out if you like. But yeah, so far, um, <clears throat> a lot of people complained about the color. Um, that it was like a much more Kelly green color. And when it's pictured as it being an emerald green. Um, in the video um, right now... As it's being filmed it looks a lot brighter but it's actually pretty dark emerald green so mine's actually pretty close to the picture which I wouldn't have mind if it was um, Kelly green because I love the color green anyways but I really do love this one it is um, I really got a dark emerald green one um, and as you can see the design I chose um, I had originally wanted a little Buddha one that I had seen. It had three little Buddhas going across and it was a natural colored wood box. Um, I don't think they sell it anymore. At least I didn't see it and I kind of browsed for <clears throat> a few hours because I just had really been wanting a, a infant's uh, box. So yeah, this one's mine. It looks really good. This is how it looks in the light. And these little details are all gold and they're... Um, I wouldn't say they're metal, but they're not, um, they're not stickers. They're definitely, I don't know, some sort of metal, but, uh, a lot of people say that the ones they received were stickers and the paint was kind of really badly done over them and mine looks, I think, perfect. I'm so happy with it. Um, even on the back, it has it on the back and they just came out really well and then the hinges... A lot of people say they have some trouble opening theirs, and I can see where they do have some trouble. It is a little bit um, 
tough to open, but it's not something not manageable. I feel like with the amount of uses that you get out of it, it'll eventually um, loosen up. I mean, I definitely prefer it to be a little bit more um, tighter than overly loose where it's falling on your hand when you're trying to put your incense sticks in there. But it has two incense holes, one on each side. And then it has two, so I did like it. Um, that's probably what I was more excited for, the double incense that you can burn two at a time. And then on the bottom, it has for the incense cones. Sorry, the light's kind of drowning it out, but they're gold as well. <clears throat> so you can have two incense at the same time, or two different cones. And yeah, a lot of people say that some incense don't, work or they their holes were too far up or too far down or weren't the right size for the incense so I just wanted to try really quickly a few of the incense I have in different brands um just so you guys can kind of get the idea and even me because I mean like I said I haven't tried it at all um so this one is hem and I just want to see how it fits there's a little wood piece There we go, there's a wood little chip that wouldn't come out on that one. But this one is Hems. And as you can see, it fits pretty well in there. I didn't have a problem putting it in there. There's nothing wrong with this side, it's just a little... I feel like if I just take it off right there. There's something in my way, but I just wanted to be... Sh didn't want to take too long on it. But yeah, here's this one. Um, and then the Hem one is facing a little bit up, but I know some people said that um, if their incense stick doesn't fit, that they just break it a little bit or kind of maneuver it. You know how different incense have flip it to one side and it curves downward or something. So, I mean, this one will definitely touch on the top whenever you close it. So I'd probably have to bend this one a little bit. But Hem usually offers different sizes or, I mean, your pack comes in different sizes for your little stick. But it does work. It, it sits straight across. So hem definitely works for that one. Next one I want to try is, we'll try a Statya one, and I'll put it in this one. Oh, there we go. Ooh, this one fits perfectly straight across. Yeah, this one fits perfectly. I know when you close this one, it's not going to touch because it is going just straight where the other one was a little bit more curved up. But yeah, definitely, if you see that your incense is like way up here, do not close this hinge door if you decide to get this one. Or definitely try to maneuver it to um, the way where it can fit. But that one fits perfect. The Statya one fits perfect. And I want to say that this incense coffin, um, I want to say I saw Hostly um, is one of the makers for these. But I'm not sure unless that was another one that I didn't purchase. But, um, who knows, maybe it might work better with their sticks or it's intended for the size of theirs. But I think they're overall pretty universal because I want to say that this is 12 inches long, I want to say. Maybe longer, I could be wrong, I didn't really get the measurement. Oh yes, 12 inches long. This one is a Ganesh stick. And this one sits perfectly as well. You can see you can even, if it's too long of a stick, you can kind of um, move it a little bit more outward over here. And it should be able to fit. But I do know they sell um, different lengths of incense. So this is, this one, this particular holder would not fit um, any of the super long incense. I, this is made for the smaller ones. So another one I want to try is... This one's actually from Walmart, and I'll go ahead and do a review on a Walmart re incense stick here soon, but these fit perfect as well. See, this one faces a little bit downward, but when you maneuver it, flip it around, it fits um, straight diagonally, so. That one fits good. What other one do I have? Ganesh, Walmart... I guess I should try a Hoosley one so you guys can see how, oops, how that one fits if I can find my bag.
And on some sticks are really just a hit and miss because they all have different sides. I've gotten some in the same pack for, um, for different brands. And some are super thick, some are really thin. So hose sleeves as well fits perfectly. You can close it easily knowing it's not going to touch on the top. So that's really cool. And then another one I've been wanting to show you is... Well, the last one is the incense sticks, not sticks, cones. And I know some cones are more rounded, some are more pointy. These are hem cones. So I know that these are actually going to um, sit, well, this one. Well, I guess it depends which one you have. This one, as you could see, is very lopsided. So I'm going to have to, let me try it. One that's different from the same pack. This one's more still. More even, I mean, not still. So, yeah, that one fits perfectly. And I don't know. Oh, no. You'd be fine if it, it would. I don't think it would touch on the top. I know some of them are a little bit pointier and some are rounder. And some are just shorter and a little bit more wide. So, I guess it depends on the brand that you have. And the inside little things for the cones, the little metals, they're almost like the ones that you receive in your pack. So at least I received them in my pack of Hemet incense cones. But um, I don't know. That's With the cones, I'm a little bit more iffy because these little metals tend to get really hot with the cones alone. So I don't know if the wood would be able to withstand the heat without <laughs> catching on fire or something but I haven't read any negative reviews over how um the cones or the sticks burn in there besides you know the holes being the problem of being drilled either two um up top or two at the bottom where the cone is either touching the top or doesn't let it close all the way and another cool thing about this box is that it has this little compartment where you could store incense in there and you can probably store several incense in there. Um, a lot of people say they just like putting in their favorites. Or um, if you have a pack and you just you maybe just have one pack that you like to burn at a time, you can definitely stick it in there. That way you don't have to be looking for it or, um, you know, having to go scavenger for your incense. Or you can put different ones in there if you want. And I don't know if I'm going to use it just because I did buy a little bin, which I'll probably show you guys in another video, um, where I store all my incense. But I definitely think that's a really cool idea that they did. And I love that it has, um, you know, it's a burner and it's a holder and it, it's duo for both sticks and cones. And for $8.99, I think it's really cool. So that's all I'm going to have. I really do like this one and I would purchase another one so I really do recommend this incense what incense burner coffin thingy majig so yeah I really did like this one um, I'll go ahead and do a separate video on me actually burning the incense inside so you guys can see just how it looks with all of the incense smoke coming out to the top like I said I haven't tried it so it'll be kind of um, well, well we can both try it together so I'll see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.